field is out and parading for the first race and a sober race for pacing two-year-old fillies and here's that field race one one is finale's finale owned by betty abbott michael ross of mendota Irvin miller trains andy miller in the bike 1a mantis breeze owned by Irvin miller by alan opperman michael elders all of illinois Irvin Miller trains, he will drive. Two, Touch a Cloud, owned by Roger Dean Hofford of Alton, Illinois. Doug Talley trains, will drive. Three, Mopar C.R. Hanna, owned by Clarence Parker. William Moen of Jerseyville. Clarence Parker, the trainer, with Nick Prather in the bike. Four, Excess Rhythm, owned by Ted and Ruth Ann Smith of Carmi. Ted Smith trains, Dave McGee gets a call. Five, Just Justine, owned by William Holstrom. Dirk Simpson, both of Illinois. Simpson trains and drives. Six, Harmony Oaks, Jesse. On by Larry Binkley and Michelle Whitlock, Henning, Tennessee, Jacksonville, Illinois. Binkley trains Larry Binkley in the bike. Seven, Silky Broad. On by Allen and Jackie Bowen and uh, also by Charles Lennon of Mount Sterling. Allen Bowen, the trainer. Allen Bowen in the bike. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Harmony Oaks, Jesse between Phillies quickly scoots across the track. On a break is excess rhythm as that field powers toward the turn. On the inside, touch a cloud will get away second. On the outside, rushing up third comes in as a race to the turn finale's finale. And now drifting to the outside, Mantis Breeze makes a break. And she's out of the picture as a race around the turn toward the quarter mile mark. And ranging up on the outside as they drive that way to challenge for the lead. And now take command by a length. A length and a half is finale's finale. On the inside, Harmony Oaks Jesse picks up cover along the rail racing third as they drive past the quarter mile marker and onto the backstretch, Silky Broad. Fourth on the inside, Touch a Cloud racing five, Just Justine paces slow as they race past that mark. Six on the inside as they drive down the backside, Mopar CR Hanna as they head toward the half mile marker. They roll down the backstretch and the leader by a length down the backside as they approach now that half mile mark is Harmony Oaks Jesse. She rushed to the front before the half. Behind her racing second is Finale's Finale. Third is Silky Broad off the rail to the outside. Here comes Just Justine. Shuffle back five is Touch a Cloud. Racing six following cover more par CR Hanna on the outside seven as they race past the half mile mark is Mantis Breeze after break. They raced off the quarter in 28, the half and a minute, one-fifth, headed now toward three quarters. They're in the upper turn and leading the way by a length and a half. Nine-time winner, Harmony Oaks, Jesse on the outside, stalking her second, moving up just Justine. Third along the rail, needing racing room is Finale's Finale. On the outside, racing next, more par, CR, Hannah. Six on the inside, no place to go, Silky Broad. Seven, touch a cloud, eight and trailing man, Tease Breeze. Feel the pacing, Phillies will turn for home. Three quarters, one, 31, four. Harmony Oaks, Jesse, looking for win number 10, has the field by a length and a half, and here comes Finale's Finale, getting shook loose. Fading is Silky Broad as they drive to the wire. Harmony Oaks, Jesse, Finale's Finale. Silky Broad, third to the wire. Harmony Oaks, Jesse is going to make it 10 wins in 1999. She slips home the winner. Second Finale's Finale third unofficially to Silky Broad four touch a cloud with a late rush five appeared to be Mopar Ciara Hanna six excess rhythm seven just Justine eight was Mantis Breeze 159 3 2 Harmony Oaks Jesse Larry Binkley who won here yesterday for owner Michelle Whitlock and Larry co-owners of the two-year-old pacer Fox Valley Jackson has repeated today Larry rarely races the Illinois Fairs and when he does normally it's just in southern Illinois for a brief stint but this year he has stabled at Charleston and raced the entire Illinois fair circuit starting at the first fair of the summer continuing to today ten times now he will have been in the winner's circle with this filly Nine times coming in. Today it's win number 10, ranking her among the nation's leading dash winning two-year-old pacing fillies from Henning, Tennessee and Jacksonville, Illinois, co-owned by Larry and by Michelle Whitlock, who joins the winning filly in the victory lane. Here's Harmony Oaks, Jesse. Harmony Oaks Jesse, two-year-old filly by Sportsmaster from Marengo Janet by Armbro Wolf. 